What's the value you're creating for the organization that you serve and you work for today? I just finished a live session on the global stage talking about branding. But for you as an employer, we need to think about your reputation. Your reputation is actually your brand. What do people think about when they think about you, when you were there or when you're probably not even in the room? Have you got a reputation for delivering on time, on body, on the schedule? If you've got a reputation for delivering valuable content and insights, if you've got a reputation for driving strategic outcomes for your organization, that's the key. It's about the value that you create. I ran through my value framework and I'm going to have that in the comments. Go look at it. V for vision and for clarity. What do you want to, where do you want to go? Where do you want to stay in the direction of your brand and, and your reputation? What do you want to be known for? Is this an analyst or you want to be one who's actually a visionary? Think about that. A, A is about your authentic nature. How do you show up? Are you one who just feels that, well, it's okay. You know, I'm a mom, as you know, and I talk about that as well. I show up when I deliver value. I want you to see me for me. I've got my pains. I've had to go through life and work and everything that comes with that. And I share my story as well. I want to be as authentic as I can because even if you see Fola in the morning, at night, this is still me. She's always here to, you know, always try to make you be the best self that you can possibly. But seriously, back back to the back to the topic. How authentic are you? How do you ensure that you show up and you're delivering the value that you want in an authentic way? And A is for leverage. What's your leverage? What are your strengths? What are you really great at? What's your zone of genius? You want to naturally just knows how to analyze data and you know extrapolate the key information that business actually needs to make decisions or you want or your strength actually to communicate and problem solve that's great you need to just zone in and understand what your strengths are and leverage that what's your story what's your experience that's exactly what the world needs to know even if you don't want to go on a global stage that's okay but within your organization is that what you're actually good at let the organization know okay and then we get to the you. You is about understanding your audience, understanding your organization. If you just want to just focus on the company you work for, that's okay. Focus on your organization and ensure that you understand where they're going, what strategic direction, and create information, content, and stuff that ties back to that. Remember, understand the organization, understand your audience. For people who are in business, you need to understand your customer. Almost the same. Think about your reputation. E is about engage and educate. How do you engage with your team? Do you show up and you, are you the one who's about providing solutions? Or are you the one who always feels that ah, it's all doom? That's okay, even if things are going not the way you plan, things happen. But the key is, how can we create a solution to deal with that? Engage and educate. Remember value. V for vision and clarity. A for authenticity. L for leverage. U for understanding your audience and E for engage and educate. Remember, you've got a reputation. What do you want to be remembered for? What's your legacy? Full Alibi, always here to empower you to become a strategic project leader. One who shapes the strategic direction of your organization. One who helps create outcomes, not just outputs. That's right. Where you win, your organization wins and the economy actually benefits. You leverage the same, same skills and you create the life you create. Because project management is a life hack. Believe it or not, you take strategic leadership, you take project management, it's a match made in heaven, I tell you. You can execute, you can lead teams, you can be a visionary, and above all, you can just live your best life. All right, see you on the next one, I gotta go. I've got clients mailing me. I just wanted to just drop this and let you know that I just had a great time. Thank you so much, um, the Global Ecosystem, for organizing this. And if you haven't even registered for my podcast is actually coming up on Saturday. You are missing out. This is another way you can actually improve your influence by improving your skills. AI, we're going to be uncovering that. I've got a leader all the way from Georgia. She's going to be talking about how she walked her way through the top. You know, she created novel ideas as well as she's actually leveraging AI and digital transformation to create change. You do not want to miss it. Click on the link. And let's go on this journey together. I am super excited. Have yourself a great day above all. Let me know in the comments what you're definitely up to as well. Bye-bye.